and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. Petroleum refinery is a vital and energy intensive industry with a significant strategic importance in the Indian economy. With the increase in demand of petroleum products, the need of the hour is to innovate and develop energy efficient solutions for a sustainable development of the industry. Bureau of Energy Efficiency or BEE, a statutory body working under the Ministry of Power, is committed towards its mission of developing policies and solutions that help in energy reduction and ensure its optimal use. Under its Perform, Achieve and Trade scheme, BEE identifies eco-friendly technologies across industries. In this episode, we introduce to you the Flare Gas Recovery System or FGRS. The flame at the top of a petroleum refinery is an iconic image. Yet, not many people are aware of the purpose of gas flare. Burning excess gas by flare is a crucial part of the safety regime and is used for burning of a flammable gas released by incidental gas release of pressure relief valves. This is where the innovative technology of flare gas recovery systems or FGRS channelizes the gases that would normally be flared to be instead reused within the facility's fuel gas system. In order to maximize value added products from residue products, the delayed coker unit or the DCU, which is also called tertiary treatment of a petroleum refinery, uses thermal cracking reaction to convert petroleum residue into different products like gaseous, liquid products and coke. The thermal cracking reaction begins in the heater coils and gets completed in coke drums. During this process, the blowdown towers transfer the vent gases generated from the coke drum to the fractionator overhead receiver. On account of pressure difference between the blowdown overhead receiver and the overhead pressure of the fractionator, it often leads to the transfer of blowdown vent gas to the flare system. With the intent of recycling the vent gas from the blowdown overhead receiver to the fractionator overhead receiver, the water ring compressor was commissioned. However, the water ring compressor was functional for only 6 hours in every 24 hours. It was therefore proposed to utilize the water ring compressor for flare gas recovery. The innovative flare gas recovery system or FGRS uses the water ring compressor to recover the flare gas and sends the gas to the DCU wet gas compressor suction. From there, it is further transferred to fuel gas head, wherein it is used as fuel gas in refinery process fired heaters. This system has revolutionized the industry and made it cost effective by preventing the requirement of a dedicated FGRS for DCU. Typically, the flare gas recovery system compressors and the motors, they will be very, very energy intensive machines because a typical flare gas recovery system will comprise of a compressor which is a multi-stage compressor and the motor installed to it, it will also be a high tension motor. But in BURL, the ring gas compressor is a low differential pressure machine and the motor coupled to it is also a low tension machine because the discharge of this ring gas compressor goes to a existing machine suction which is a wet gas compressor in the delayed cooker unit. So that is how the since the differential pressure developed by the machine is less, the energy consumption is less compared to a typical flare gas recovery system. The vent gas coming from the flare process unit enters into the liquid ring compressor along with sealing liquid where it gets compressed. The compressed gas along with sealing liquid is then discharged into the water ring separator where the liquid and the sealing liquid are separated. The processed gas escapes from the water ring separator through its outlet nozzle. FGRS comes with enormous benefits. It has helped pave the way for lower transmission of toxic gases into the environment and reduced operating costs 
by resulting in reduced fuel gas cost for the facility. FGRS helps in efficient management of energy. We'll be back with some more energy efficient solutions for a sustainable development of the industry. Till then, goodbye and keep conserving. <music>